so quiet. Not even the birds. This is fucked up. Do you think it hit the town yet? Who are they? I don't know who they are. How come they can be outside? Can we go get Mom now? What if she's scared? Maybe. Stay here. I gotta go talk to Grandpa. Fuck, this is taking forever. I don't remember how far it is. Don't talk. This is barely leaking anything out. Save your breath. Mm -hmm. Alright. We're getting pretty close. If you start smelling anything like a sulfur smell like um like rotten eggs you need to let me know why what's wrong with sulfur it's just a theory if you, if you smell it just let me know i never thought i was smart enough to understand anything like you're just like oh you would understand anyhow so just tell the expert if you smell whatever i'm sorry Ethan, I feel it too. What do we do? Maybe a cloud or something. Higher ground. Higher ground. going on.
before the sulfur thing, I was taking uh, hydrogen sulfide in my room. It had killed everyone. What are you saying? It's a poison gas? <sighs> Where would it come from? It's, uh, it's, it's really not uncommon with CCS. I mean, have you ever wondered why they always make you park facing the plant exit and have your windows rolled up? I always wondered about that. It's, um, that's a uh, protocol. That sites where CO2 is being pumped underground. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, HS2 is a, it's a waste product from the bacteria that break down the carbon dioxide. Uh, occasionally, some of the hydrogen sulfide will find its way back up to the surface. Pretty nasty stuff. It's invisible, almost instantly deadly, and highly explosive. Anyway, that's why I thought it might have hit us down there, but whatever it was, wasn't hydrogen sulfide. No sulfur smell, plus we're still alive. What then? I don't know. But I know who will. We need to get back to the lab. I'm sorry, I always forget. What time did you get back to camp that night? Uh, I didn't. That's right. <laughs> he camped out all night down there with nothing but a water bottle and a flashlight. No, oh, and the USB drive. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I must say that uh, even though these site tests are mandated by the government, given the expertise in the room and the frank nature of the discussion, I'm sure it's going to be a pleasure working with you as you keep Grimish Corporation in compliance. So, Ms. Weiss has made all the arrangements for your stay, so she'll be showing you the way. We'll talk soon. Doctor? Yes, sir. Nice meeting you. It's Ethan, right? Yes, Bradley. Great. Uh, Chris, may I speak with you for a moment? Sure. Paige, thank you for all your help today. You're welcome. I'm beat. Good night. Good night, Alan. Well, um, it's really great meeting you, Paige. Uh, really look forward to working with you. Me too. Okay, well, good night. You know, things are so crazy today with you guys coming in. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Uh, yeah, me neither. Um, I'd love to get something to eat. Is, is there anywhere open this late? I might know one place. Is it, uh, is it worth checking out? Maybe. Lauren, come in. Lauren? Lauren, if you can hear me, I want you to take some samples from the lake water itself. Just a theory. I tried the phones. There's nothing. The power's out too. Is this the harness you wanted? I think this thing's almost out. Is this all we're taking, is these three? It's a hell of a lot more than we had an hour ago, and it's enough. Look, all right, I, I know I forgot to fill the tanks, and I'm just the gopher around here. No, but... no, that's not what I meant. I just meant we're in good shape. Hey, I think we should have a double on this one anyway. I think there's one in the back. Will you get it for me? Noah. I'm glad you're here with me. I'd be freaking out if it were just me. What are you doing? I can't see a thing back here. Noah, 
You can't light anything without oxygen in the air. So what do we do now? Straight back to the lab. Hopefully the professor can tell us what the hell's going on. <laughs> 